Some people are cleaning up today after storms traveled through parts of central Virginia last night. You're watching 8 News at 6. I'm Deanna Albritton. I'm Eric Phillips. This gust NATO scene behind us was in Chesterfield last night, near the same area where a deadly tornado touched down back in 2018. You can see that gust NATO rip apart a building's roof, swirling debris around everywhere, and one building cracked. And pieces torn away. That was actually back in 2018. Yeah, that tornado that hit there. Right. 8 News reporter Roland Wilson joins us live from where one storm caused damage to a Chesterfield IHOP. Roland, what exactly happened here? Eric, Deanna, that's right. A storm ripped through here last night, but the damage still remains here today. If you look at this window, this window has two separate glass frames, one on the inside and the outside. The one on the inside is still intact, but the one on the outside is nearly gone. And I just spoke with the glass company, and they tell me shattering like this could take six to eight weeks to repair. And he thinks something hit it right about here in order to make this entire glass door shattered. But that is not the end of the damage. You can see the siding is fine until you get right about here. That's where the siding is falling off, some of it nearly gone. And when you look at the top of the roof, you're basically looking at the top of the building. But workers tell us that is not the extent of the damage. They were surprised to see this tree that was completely uprooted. And when they saw all of this damage happen, all they could think was going back to 2018 when storms ripped through this area nearby. And they want to know if that caused the same thing here last night. Strong storms and heavy winds filled the sky last night, causing damage to areas in Chesterfield. August marks the third month of hurricane season, and we can expect to see a similar sight throughout central Virginia in the coming months. Our 8 News meteorologist Matt DiNardo explains. We get a lot of hot and humid days. We get thunderstorms that come through, strong fronts. Whether it's you know, heavy rains and flooding or strong winds that create gust nados or even just downburst winds knocking down trees and power lines. You may be familiar with a tornado which consists of powerful thunderstorms or a dust devil that creates a whirlwind caused by the differences of heating. But last night, the damage was caused by what's called a gust front tornado, also known as a gust nado. In this case, the actual thunderstorm was back in western Chesterfield County, about three to five miles away, but the gust front ahead had winds that went in kind of opposite directions, created a spin. We saw what you're seeing there, which is the ground kind of spin up. Oh! On the other hand, the deadly storm that happened in September of 2018 wasn't the same, and it happened about a mile and a half away from here. That one was a, a true tornado, dropped down out of the sky, and unfortunately, hit the roof of the building, exploded the building, and a person uh, died in that unfortunate uh, incident. While storms like these may not be common to the area, the Virginia Department of Emergency Management recommends that you get prepared for storms that we may continue to see throughout hurricane season. Now, in order to protect you and your loved ones, the Virginia Department of Emergency Management recommends that you make a plan. And this means finding your closest evacuation zone and building a safety kit. And I'll have more information for you online at WRIC.com. Live in Chesterfield, Roland Wilson, 8 News.